Casper is on trial because he always breaks our ghostly laws. He will not shriek or boo or scare. He wants to make friends everywhere. Here's evidence I wish to show and call Exhibit A. It happened April 25th at Streets, Main and Day. <laughs> Someone scared by you. Case adjourned. I'm glad that I still have my friends. Hiya, Casper. Hello, Joe. Well, now, if it ain't me good friend Casper. Hello, Mr. Flanagan. Help! Somebody help! Uh, I'm slipping! Uh, I can't hold on much longer! Quick, Casper! Fly up there and help him! A fine friend you are. Beat it! Good morning, Mr. Gallucci. Casper! You just the one that can help me out. Yeah? Uh, would you please go through that window and open the door from the inside? No sooner said than done. <laughs> Why, you idiot! Look what you've done to my window! I keep forgetting that I haven't got my ghostly powers anymore. Oh, Casper! Would you please fly up there and get my kitten out of the tree? Well, uh, you see, Mrs. Smith, I, I really can't. I'll have him down in a jiffy. <laughs> Look what you've done to my wash! Now I'll have to scrub them all over again. And after all my hard work, why, you'd think that you'd be more careful. Gosh, if I don't get my ghostly powers back again, I'm gonna lose all my friends. But the judge said I've got to scare someone. And I can't do that. Or can I? So you see, fellas, the scare campaign tonight ought to be a howling success. <laughs> Say, there's a guy outside on whom we can practice our new scare routines. Hello, is there is there anybody home? Gentlemen, my card. Whoopee! 
still don't know what happened. You see, in order to get my ghostly powers back again, I just had to scare someone. Mr. Brown, it's a boy. A son? Gosh, nurse, do you think I could just hold him for a minute? Could I please? Of course. Benny, my boy. It's amazing! Hmm, a remarkable case. I think it's caused by an inflection of the molecular carbonication. No, no, it is a conditionary tedomorous of the lower extrema della. Yow! Glandular obsidies have caused a pitubination. The tension of the dinafran is most confusing. Bring on the fluoroscope. Oh. Mr. and Mrs. Brown, you are the parents of a real bouncing baby boy. <laughs> to Daddy. Come on, Benny. That's fine. Just a few more steps. <laughs> I've got just the thing to keep Benny from bouncing. These shoes should do the trick.
signals. Four, six, three, eight, hike! do you use, Pee-wee? Why, I always use Sharpie blades. Yes, sir -y. They make my face feel so smooth when I'm out. You're out! Smooth. smooth. Did you hear that crowd booing? That's the sentiments of our once loyal fans. Something's gotta be done. Now, tomorrow's game means the pennant. And if we don't win it, it's back to the Bush Leagues for you. Back to the Bush Leagues. No help from anyone, not even my scout. Scout? Hey, scout! You call him, Chief? Where you been? Me scout him world's greatest ball player. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, where is he? Hey, Room, you come meet him, chief of tribe. Chief, meet him, Rube Clodhopper. A horse? Well, howdy. <laughs> Get it out of here. Get it out of here. You throw him out, horse. You throw him out, pennant. You mean Dad Hayburner will help me win the pennant? Who help him, Paul Revere, save him country from redcoats? A horse. Who make him possible deliver mail cross country by Pony Express? A horse. Who help him, Newt Rockney, win heap many football game? The four horsemen. Now, who gonna help him, Redskins, win pennant? Uh, 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 a horse? Come on, Chief. We rest them up for pennant game tomorrow. A horse. The sports riders will say I lost my marbles. Hey, Joe, you got them classy room for night? Sign here, please. Okay, Rube. You sign them. No horses allowed. I told you nobody would accept a horse. Hey, Chief, me got a pitchy idea. Well, howdy! Oh, why did I ever get into this mess? Eh, I'm gonna hit the hay. Hit the hay? Gosh, I'm hungry. Room servers. Cyrus. Get that horse out of sight! Did anyone here order a bale of hay? Why, yes, sure. Uh, at that time, I always eat like a horse. <laughs> Fans, 
this is the last chance for the Redskins to stay in the pennant race. We use them horse now, Chief? Quiet! You want someone to hear you? Batter up! Get in there, slugger, and knock the cover off the ball. There goes a pop fly right into the first baseman's mitt, and it's one out. Now, Chief, no. No! And now it's two out. This is last chance, Chief, to win them game. All right, all right! Put them in! Okay, Rube, Chief, say you win them game. A horse on a team? Yeah, it's really a horse. A horse? Horses ain't allowed to play baseball. Some ruling book, horses ain't allowed. Play ball. This is unbelievable, folks. It's down to the last out, and it's up to a horse to save the game. Too high. Steer when? I knew it. I knew it. Too low. Strike two. <laughs> Back to the bush league. Run, run. For Pete's sake, run! Well, dog my britches. <laughs> if when I could run, I'd be in the Kentucky Derby. Next, Chief, next. Me got another great ball player, Buffalo. are up here, Nightmare. In that case, I'll join you, Casper. Yikes, a flying horse, just what I need. Greetings, friends. I'm Ali Boo Boo. Hi, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. I was just wondering if you'd like to sell your horse. But he's not my horse. Nobody owns Nightmare. You mean he's for free? Then I'll just take him. Oh, no, you won't. I like it here in the Enchanted Forest. Hmm. Looks like I'll have to use some black magic. Oh, well, no hard feelings, friends. But before I go, please accept this as a token of my friendship. Gee, that was a very nice thing to do, Mr. Boo Boo. <laughs> Nightmare, you've been bewitched. <laughs> that magic apple he ate placed him in my power. Now I'll just take him back to my palace. Stop! You mustn't take what doesn't belong to you. Abba Dabba, zero hour. Cast to lose your ghostly power. I'll go see Wendy. Maybe she can help me. Wendy, a wicked magician named Ali Boo Boo has cast a spell on Nightmare and made off with him. Oh, how awful! And then he used his magic to take away my ghostly powers. Here, drink my magic brew. It will undo Ali Boo Boo's spell. Wow, it worked. I can fly again. Swell. Now, where can we find Nightmare? He's at Ali Boo Boo's palace, but I don't know where it is. Magic Mirror, please do tell. Where does Ali Boo Boo dwell? <laughs> wow, he lives in the clouds. Hold tight, Casper. Here we go. Hey, look. There's Ali Boo Boo and Nightmare. Find that pesty little ghost. He's got a witch to help him. I'll get the door open. It disappeared. Gosh. I can walk through walls, but you can't, Wendy. It's so dark in here, Casper, I can hardly see. Say, maybe this lamp will shed a little light on the subject. Let's see if this is where you light it. It's a genie. It must be a magic lamp. Yes, 
I was imprisoned in a lamp by Ali Boo Boo. I am your slave. I don't want a slave, but perhaps you can help us. Why, sure. Get us into the palace. Open sesame. Golly. Thank you, Mr. Genie. Sickness on of it. Sickness on of it. I'm free. I'm free. 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 Well, welcome to my palace. Ellie. Boo boo. You were expecting perhaps the good fairy of the north? But come. I know you are very tired. Let me show you your rooms. Wendy, you will sleep in the dungeon. And you won't need a room because. <laughs> that put an end to him. Now to get Wendy out of the dungeon. I knew you'd save me, Casper. Now let's try to find Nightmare. Abracadabra, I'm the boss. You are now a frightful horse. Stop doing that to Nightmare. Yeah, I thought I got rid of you. Well, you thought wrong. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll make another stab at it. You've made my palace dusty and I'm allergic to dust. I'll have to get out of here. Oh, Casper, he's going off with Nightmare again. I'll be right back, Wendy. Stop! Turn back, Nightmare. A ghost? Golly, he doesn't remember me. You saved my life, Casper. How can I repay you? Just undo your magic spell on Nightmare. Fair enough. Abba Dabba Franks and Lentil. Nightmare come back sweet and gentle. Got another apple? Gee, he's his same sweet self again. Well, I'm happy to say I'm through being evil. Could we go back to the Enchanted Forest now? Bye, Ali Boo Boo. Goodbye, friends. Sorry to cause you so much trouble. It's never too much trouble to make another friend. little tree. Can I help you? Oh, nobody can help me. <laughs> bah! He's always crying because he's Willie the Weeping Willow. He's always complaining. Oh, you'd complain too. These big greedies won't give me any room for my roots, and I'm always in the shade. Tough. I'll never be a big tree. Couldn't you big fellows make a little room for his roots? and let him have a little sunshine? What? We were here first! Well, it wouldn't hurt to be a little charitable. Don't tell us what to do, Scram. See, they're all mean. Oh, I'll never grow up. Golly, I wish I could help you, Weeping Willie. You could help me leave this terrible forest and find a nice sunny spot. I could? How? Find the magic potion of motion. What's that? Ha! <laughs> Imagine him answering the riddle. What riddle? 
the ogre under the mountain has a magic potion of motion that he will pour on anyone who can answer the riddle. What is the riddle? Nobody knows. We've never seen him. Oh, it's hopeless. Please don't cry, Weeping Willie. I'm going to find the magic potion of motion for you. Oh, I truly hope so. So do I. Tumbleweeds, could you please tell me if you've ever heard of the potion of motion? So you've noticed that we can move. I'll say. Well, we met the old run of the mountain. And you answered his riddle? Well, not exactly. He spilt some of the potion on us to get rid of us because <laughs> we tasted so terrible. Oh. This is where he tasted me. Oh, my. Well, would you fellows mind telling me where I could find the ogre? You see, I have a friend who's a tree, and I'd like to get some of the potion for him. Oh, that's impossible. Hopeless. But why? The ogre loves to eat vegetables, but he's too lazy to raise them. So he offers tasty-looking plants a chance to answer the riddle. If they can, yep, they win the gift of motion. If not, into the chop suey. Would it be cheating to ask what the riddle is? Yes, that's OK. Because we can't remember it. Bye. So long. Hmm, maybe in my present form I don't look very tasty. But with a pull here and a push there. There. I only hope I look delicious. Now to find the ogre and see if I can answer that riddle. Okay, tasty tidbits, riddles, anyone? Ah, oh, it's the ogre. Ask me. Nah, you look like you taste like a tumbleweed. Blech. I'd like to try. Say, what a salad you would make. Now, here's the potion of motion, and here is my shopping basket. It's a difficult riddle, so please be sure you want to try it. Uh, I'm sure. Then listen carefully. It is there when you can't see it, and when you do, you flee it. It walks, it talks, it flies, it cries. It seems like everything in general, but it is an animal, vegetable, or mineral. What is it? Give up? Let me think. It's a widget. No help from the audience. Besides, you're wrong. Wait, it, it's coming to me. I know. It's a ghost, like me. Yay! When you see it, boy, you're free. The, po the potion. Oh, it spilled all over the grass. But I saved a few drops. Whee! We can move! Hooray! Free the animals! Now I have to hurry before this potion evaporates. <laughs> Look, Weeping Willie, the potion of motion. Oh, hurry with it, Casper. Close your eyes. I feel kind of peculiar. I don't believe it. Where are we going, Casper? I know a place where you can have plenty of space. Mr. Big Willow, may Little Willie plant himself on this bank? Why, sure. Welcome, neighbor. Drink deep now, Willie, and grow. Oh, I will, I will. Goodbye for now, Willie. I'll be visiting you again soon. I'll be waiting here, Casper. Bye. never got off the ground. Millions of dollars in taxes. Poof! Up in smoke. I tell you, something ought to be done. Well, Dad, I guess it'll be up to the youth of the nation to solve its problems. Er, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, Specs. Mm, guess you're right. Hmm. The vent 
From this abandoned warehouse will be the shell of our rocket. Lower away, men. Now the problem of sending a rocket into space will be explained with its cosmographical map of the sky. The rocket will have to pass through the Milky Way, and if there are no bottlenecks, proceed past the Big Dipper to the Dog Star, which is at the halfway mark. Our final destination is the moon. Oh, Professor. Yes, Jobs? Suppose our rocket misses the moon and winds up here. Then our secret timing device will speed up the rocket to land when the moon is here. Well, what happens if it goes to this side of the moon? The timing device will then slow it down to land when the moon is here. You win, Specs. All set for the solid fuel test, Goop. Pour in the fuel. Oh boy, it's where we going. How's the liquid fuel experiment going, Chubbs? All set for the test, Professor. We will now need a spaceman for our rocket. Will a volunteer please take one step forward? Very well, Goop. Who, oh, me? Now, due to the lack of gravity on the moon, we will have to see how our spaceman reacts to weightlessness. Okay, Chubbs. <laughs> I'm a moon man! I'm a moon man! This centrifuge will test your ability to withstand the terrific pressure you will experience in space flight. Let it go! subject has blacked out. We will have to proceed with the pressure suit test. One pressure suit coming up, Professor. Oh boy, it's up to 40 pounds already. What's that rocket? what those kids are up to now. Spy! Saboteur! Ready for the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Woodshed. Oh well, back to the drawing board. My baby Hugh is such a sweet child, smart as can be. He's gentle and mild. He grew awfully fast. He's 
something to see Just two years of age and looks just like me yeah, Good morning, Ma! Good morning, Huey, darling! Made to Huey. Tis fishing I'm going, and I'm going alone, do you hear? Alone! 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 Huey's going fishing! Huey's going fishing! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! A fish! Dig for worms. All right. Go ahead and dig. Oh, thanks, Papa dear. Uh, I hope he digs his way to China. Lots of worms under here, Papa. Uh, Papa, baby, you we want to fish. Baby, you we want to fish. Please, Papa, let me fish. Let me fish. All right, son. You can fish. But go get your own fishing pole. All right, Papa. Papa! I'll save you, Papa. fish next to you? Uh, could I? No, you cannot fish next to me. Be setting yourself over there. All right, Papa. <laughs> oh, I touched the fish. And he looks just like Papa. Yes, stupid numbskull! Not in the head, Papa! Uh. You want to make me crazy? Come on, get in the boat. There's another spot we'll be trying to fish from. Oh, goody, goody, goody! I promised my papa I'd be a real good boy. Oh boy! A fish! as well be getting home. There's no use trying to fish with the likes of you around. Papa, Papa, looky! I got a big fat flounder! <laughs> Come back to Papa! Oh. <laughs> 
Pass me by. <laughs> before I get through with her. for the dog show. Remove the collar, please. Rabies shots? How terribly chic. There. Hand me the friend stand from my bag, please. My, just like a nurse.
such a fine dog. Get going, Flatfoot. cleaned up.
A perfect weight. Hmm, only 37 and a half inches. Wait a minute. He's a perfect 40. The blue ribbon for the best of class. Oh boy, I knew he could win. Come on, Squealy. Let's get out of here. Psychologist? Well, it ain't Schmaltz the Butcher. Yeah, so. Just leave everything to me, madam. I'll be right over. And, Professor, I just can't get Terry to mind me at all. Aha! I guarantee I will have that child acting like a little angel. Mm, mm, mm. What a mess! The first thing I will have to do is give you a bath. I ain't taking a bath for nobody. Hmm. To make a child do what you want him to do, you must participate with him. Hmm. Terry, how would you like to go swimming with me? Hmm? Oh boy, swimming! The last one in is a rotten egg! <laughs> oh, where are you, Terry? Come out, come out, wherever you are! Yow! I'm f f f f freezing! should have a pet to keep him out of mischief. Mm -hmm. 
I'm an old cow hand, Yahoo, from the Rio Grande. And I learn to ride, for I learn to stand. Golly, are you an honest to goodness real live cowboy? That's right, partner. I'm the greatest Indian fighter in the West. Really? Once, I was surrounded by a whole tribe of bloodthirsty, wild savages. And as they swooped down upon me, I started picking them off one by one. First to the right, then to the left. Bang, bang! <coughs> Ach, du Lieber! <coughs> teaches a child that if he is good, he will be rewarded. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Santa Claus! Merry Christmas, Terry! Merry Christmas! You see, Santa brings you all these toys when you are a good boy. Oh, yeah? Well, I was good last year, and you never brought the bike I asked for. Yeah! Oh, uh, Terry? Yes, Mother dear? What is it? W would, would you go on an errand for me? Why, gladly, Mother dear. Anything else I can do, Mother dear? Why, Professor, how did you make such a miraculous change in Terry? <laughs> I just used a little child psychology. That's all. age we are living in is a challenge to our science universities and their students are graduating at a tremendous pace in order to supply the great demand for scientists the electronic scientist has turned his skill towards improving our everyday living conditions he has replaced the drudgery of housework with little buttons for every household chore. I'm sorry, honey, but I won't be able to get home for dinner. I'm working on a big deal. I understand, dear. Bye, my pet. Okay, fellas, it's my deal. Even the sportsman has benefited from scientific research. For the fishermen, 
a solid glass boat has been designed to spot those ever elusive fish. scientist solves his problem by remote control. He is insulated behind a six-foot thick wall to protect himself from the deadly radioactive materials, and mechanical hands are employed to make each carefully planned move. Leisure time, created by labor-saving devices, has caused a boom in our automobile industry and highways have to be built fast enough to accommodate the ever-increasing flow of traffic. These roads are also planned for cars of the most extreme design. transportation scientist has anticipated the forgetful motorist's habit of running out of gas. Fill her up, buddy. Even a breakdown on the highway is no longer a problem. some trip is now broken up by viewing the very latest movies on the way. There are also side roads to keep the kiddies amused. of speeding is now taken care of without the driver losing any time from reaching his destination. Guilty or not guilty? But with all this motorized modernization, there is one old-fashioned road hazard that we still have to put up with. Isn't he asleep having bad dreams? Good book! Bah! Hey, give me my book! You should be reading something bad! Gosh, and I was just coming to the exciting part, too. We don't want any goody-goody stuff around here. Golly, now I'll never know what happens to Ulysses. Good night, Casper. Unpleasant dreams. Poor Ulysses. He's been trying to reach home for so many years and has had nothing but misfortune. Yippee! There's Ulysses! Yay! A ghost! Oh, this is worse than all the evils I've seen in my years of troublesome travels. I won't harm you. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Oh, we could certainly use a friend. Good. What can I do to help you? We're lost and there isn't any wind. In that case, I'll see what I can do. Casper! Where are you going? To the Cave of the Winds, Ulysses. Hello, Mr. Big Wind. 
Podcast, but what brings you here? My friend Ulysses needs your help to sail his boat. Gee, I'm sorry, Casper, but I'm leaving for a big blowout. Golly, can't you spare even a small breeze, please? Here, take this bag. It has enough wind for what you need. Thanks, Mr. Big Wind. I've got some wind for you, Ulysses. I hope it's enough to blow us home. We're on our way again. Well, I guess your troubles are over now, Ulysses. Yates, a fire-breathing monster. Uh oh, more bad luck. Maybe I can make friends with him. Be careful, Casper. Uh, hello, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Oh yeah, well I'm like no friendly dragon, see? I'll have to cool him off before he burns everything to a crisp. I'll try bumping these rain clouds together. <laughs> Looks like that took the fire out of you, Mr. Dragon. Ah, oh, I feel like real cool, man. Real cool and like uh, friendly, too. Come on, Ulysses. Let's get going again. We can't. While you were gone, that dragon burnt up our sail. I guess we'll have to abandon the ship. Wait, Ulysses. Don't give up. I'll have to stretch a bit. That's great, Casper. If this wind holds up, it won't be long now. There's a tropical island up ahead. Maybe we can get something to eat here. There's no sign of life, but something smells real good. Come on, let's see what's cooking. Uh, uh, looks like someone is throwing a big feast. Funny, there's nobody home. <laughs> Who cares? Let's eat. I hope whoever lives here doesn't mind. Oh, that big meal has made me sleepy. Gosh, sounds like a whole army coming. Who are you and what are you doing in my cave? I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. A ghost, huh? Looks like you spirited away my supper. My friends were so hungry, they ate it all up. Just for that, I'll make you my permanent guest. <laughs> Ulysses, wake up. We're in trouble. Uh, 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 what's wrong, Casper? We're being held prisoner by this awful giant. Yipes! It's Cyclops, the ferocious one-eyed giant. Gulp. <laughs> Stop! You let go of my friend. Oh, oh so you want to be first. Okay. You have to catch me first. <laughs> <laughs> You're trapped. You can't get out of here. That's what you think. I'll get you yet. Wait till I move this stone away. Good. That'll give Ulysses a chance to escape. So he thinks I didn't see him hide in that hollow tree. I'll just squeeze him out. <coughs> yummy, yummy. Whatever this stuff is, it sure is good. You mean you never had sweets before, Mr. Cyclops? Sweets? What's that? What you're eating is called maple syrup. Just one of the many sweets around. You know, if it weren't for you, Casper, I'd never have known about this wonderful sweet stuff. How can I ever thank you? If you really want to thank me, you can help Ulysses reach home again. Why, sure. Goodbye, Mr. Cyclops. And thanks for making the sale and getting us off to a flying start. With this stiff breeze, we'll soon be home. Yes, according to your map, we're going in the right direction. Oh, that scare raid was a complete fizzle. You know, fellas, Ulysses did reach home safely. How would you know? We tore up the book. Well, I can dream, can't I?